So let's see what we have here. The area isn't uh, finished, but uh, the background is nearly finished. In the last video I didn't talk too much, uh, because it wasn't uh, too much to talk about uh, with the background. But now I will, uh, I will uh, tell a few things about the background. Since uh, this is an image with a full uh, black background, I want to change it a little bit because uh, it's not just uh, about copying or uh, studying this uh, picture, it's also about art and uh, I want to give uh, this drawing a uh, nice sense, a nice uh, mood and uh, the first thing I uh, talked about, I uh, thought about it's uh, making something with the background since I, uh, I am drawing it, I can change it since it's not a photograph, it's a drawing made by me, so I uh, can do small changes and uh, I took that uh, we have uh, the light source coming from this part, upper left corner, uh, we can put some uh, nice shadow in this part of the drawing and we can leave a little bit lighter on the edges so that uh, is one of the things I will uh, do so I'm not uh, just uh, making a nice study I am uh, thinking about making a, a standalone piece So it has a, a nice mood, the drawing, it has a soul, so I will do that, I will uh, darken this part, bleed, and then I will uh, start to work more on the, on the cast. As you can see I have, uh, I needed to work on the background because uh, the darker background gives me the sense of uh, having a white object in front of the dark background so that was uh, necessary to work on my uh, background also uh, since I told you that uh, it needs to be uh, uh, the drawing needs to be worked uh, all the surface at once so you don't work on uh, one piece of uh, shadow and then uh, you finish and uh, you start to work on the other pieces I just have uh, defined the the most principal the most important shapes and I worked on the background also so that I can have a sense of uh, material and a sense of uh, depth and now I uh, see that uh, it would be really great if I uh, could uh, make something uh, like uh, a surface on which uh, the object sits and that could be could give my drawing some life and uh, I'm not uh, going to make the background black as here I want to make a sense of uh, uh, depth and a sense of uh, having uh, the object on sitting on something so that's my next goal on the drawing All right. so I will start to 
make some changes and uh, uh, not lastly I want to mention that uh, uh, the last couple layers of uh, background I did it with, uh, with uh, a B5 pencil which is pretty black so it's uh, it will give me a pretty black uh, pretty dark value now I'm going to work on the background a little bit more but uh, before I uh, finish the background I will need it to work on the object also on the edges of the back uh, of the object since uh, now it's uh, it's visible like it's cut out from the background so I will need to work on the edge of the piece of the object As you saw, uh, all the time when I had uh, uh, made the draw setting for the background, I had uh, my uh, pencil pretty sharp, so I can make uh, a good standout cross setting. I'm not uh, making my, uh, I'm not sharpening all the time my pencil. I just use a piece of, a piece of uh, sandpaper and I just make one sharp edge of the, as you can see, I hope it's visible, right? And that's enough for your, uh, uh, to have your uh, pencil sharp, right? And a piece of uh, sandpaper is enough for you. You don't need uh, any any fancy things. You don't need to buy from uh, from the art store something. It's just a piece of. Uh, I will show you. It's just a piece of uh, sandpaper on a piece of wood. It's not uh, um, too fancy, so it's uh, really cheap and effective. And it sits uh, near me all the time. And some sometimes you hear the noise I'm making with it. That means that I make my uh, pencil a little bit sharper. Even if I uh, have a darker pencil now in my hand, it's a 5B, making it sharper can give a little bit darker lines. So it's really important to have a nice sharpened pencil. For sure, not all the time, because not all the time we need the sharp edge pencil, but uh, when we are making uh, big surfaces with a lot of uh, cross hatching, it's uh, good to have some good. Uh, 
sharp pencil. It seems to me that I will use a darker pencil for finishing touches on the background, but uh, now I'm just uh, giving a darker value and uh, I will go back to my uh, object and uh, I will uh, Finish the background afterwards, so it needs a little bit more time uh, for the cast. So we don't need to forget that uh, we are developing our drawing, our whole drawing. In the same time, so we aren't working too much on uh, one part of the drawing, like the background. We don't want to finish the background before we finish the other parts of the drawing. But uh, we need to develop them constantly. Right. So it seems that uh, it starts to be pretty nice in this part. Uh, I will uh, work a little bit more on this part here and uh, then we will get back to the background. We will take a uh, darker pencil so this was a 5b and we need something darker so we can finish the background it starts to have a nice shape right Alright, so I uh, leave this like this for now. I will change my uh, pencil to an HB pencil. It's a pretty cute pencil. It's so small. 
I like to use my pencil for the way and uh, that's why I have so small pencil sometimes. So if you are looking uh, to our model and uh, we are looking with uh, our eyes a little bit uh, closed, half closed, we will see that the, the most deeper shadow and the most darker shadow are here and beneath the eyelid. So we need to think about that and uh, we need to think about this shape and uh, we will uh, make also the, the details uh, in the details we will use our eraser also so let's see I use a paper beneath my hand so I don't mess up my drawing and I start to darken some places. These are pretty sharpened pencil, so it's an 8B pencil. If you remember before uh, in the in the other videos here on this place I worked with uh, an F pencil with and uh, with an H pencil so this is the first uh, time I use here my HB so I need to be careful because HB tends to be uh, so much darker than the F pencil and the H pencil but uh, we need to start to darken some places so I'm digging in with my HB. Sometimes it triggers a lot of um, patience and uh, a lot of uh, courage to go in and uh, to darken some places uh, without to be fit to have a fear for uh, messing up the drawing. Right. We need to feel that that shape is going inside. So I hope that the video isn't uh, too bright. Maybe I will adjust a little bit. I think now it's much more visible, so we can go. Opa. Yeah, that can happen sometimes. I broke my literal pencil. Yeah, I didn't uh, broke it. It was uh, the last uh, part of the mine, so it's finished. There's a nice little part of my last pencil, which is finished. I will take the other the one. Um, I don't like to waste my my pencils, so. I have this uh, little nice uh, thing for them and I uh, introduce it in, uh, in this and then you can uh, work with it until the last bit. So I don't like uh, to waste my pencils so I uh, use them um, till the last part. I am looking to the shape and I'm seeing that uh, the shape will come like this, right? And uh, that means that I will 
need to go after the shape. It has a nice curvature, the nose, and the curvature starts kind of here, this part from here. So I need to be careful with the shadow. So I'm not just going uh, to darken some places. I'm going to watch after the shape of the shadow. So I'm not just uh, looking that, uh, yeah, there is a, a nice shadow and I do it uh, like a shadow, but I'm uh, watching up after the shape of the shadow. Also, I see that here on this part, it's a little bit darker in this shape. So I'm going uh, to give that shape. Those shapes, which are uh, there, they are uh, they are made by the anatomical parts. So if we miss uh, a shape, or we don't make a shape, we miss a part of the anatomical shape and uh, the model starts to break up and starts to not resemble for a, a real model, so we need to be careful with the shapes, like this one will be like this. So I'm going to work on it. And as I can as you can see, I usually I draw my shape, uh, my uh, shadow shape, and I stick to that shape when I do the shadowing. So I'm not uh, going to miss some parts. And I'm not going to distort the shapes of the of the shadow. And as you can see, I uh, I do the darkening gradually. It's much better if you do gradually the darkening. Then you are uh, darkening too hard. Uh, from the first and you can't uh, erase. Right here I will use an F pencil that is uh, a little bit less darker than the F HB pencil. And I start to darken here. Most of the time people are asking uh, that uh, why is that we are uh, drawing with small lines with cross hatching and uh, we are not doing a photographic rendering? So the answer is that uh, you can do whatever you want. You can do uh, the rendering as a photographic rendering, but uh, the principle is the same. Uh, you have you have to um, study the form and the shape, and you have to be careful with the. shape of the shadows, um, the single difference when you are doing uh, photographic rendering that can be, you see that uh, 
this line will come like this. I messed it up a little bit, so I'm correcting it. The single uh, difference between them is time and uh, the way you are working it. So it doesn't matter if you are uh, doing it a little bit rough or you are doing it uh, uh, really fine like a photo uh, like a photographic thing. Uh, the principle is the same. Uh, you need to be careful with the shapes and uh, um, with the shadows. So it doesn't matter if you are wanting to make something uh, like very realistically or you want to make it a little bit more rough. The only difference is that uh, you need to be careful. The only difference is time because you, ne you need to be careful with the with your tools, you need to be aware that you want uh, something more finer and something more finer will take a little bit more time. Yeah. But uh, the difference uh, isn't that much. The principles are the same. You need to have the, the attention for details for shadows and the shapes and the construction the same in the same amount even if you are doing something uh, more rough or uh, you are doing something more realistically so the principle is the same I'm going in with my uh, HG pencil so I darken this shape a little bit more and I'm now uh, looking at it and it seems to me that it has this nice shape so I will go after that shape right Uh, this will be good. We have here a darker part. Right. I don't want to make it too dark, so I will be careful. And here we have a shape. Right? Here we have another shape. So we need to be careful. We are entering in a in the detailing zone so we need to be careful with the shapes and the details right I'm using the HB pencil now but I'm not uh, pushing too hard and uh, 
as I said before, you need to be careful with the edges. So we need to darken some edges so that we have the model a little bit more natural. Right. We have a nice edge on the bottom side, it seems to me that uh, it has uh, an edge there which we can uh, replicate. If you have a nice sharp pencil, so I sharpened a little bit my pencil so I can go and give a little bit more, right? Okay, and uh, now I will use my darkest pencil. Um, let's see, it's an 8B, and I make it sharp, and I will start to clear out the bottom part of the background so this is also part of the detail so you give a lot of care for everything in your drawing and your drawing will become better and better. As you can see I uh, use this pencil a little bit more pushed so I uh, make a pretty dark value and I, uh, I am keep uh, I am keeping his uh, edge sharpened edge so I can make black strokes right it seems that uh, this starts to have a nice place where the, uh, the object starts to sit Right. I'm going back to my HB pencil and starting to work out that shadow beneath. Right, and uh, for the first time, I will start using my my eraser. And I will start to take out a little bit light right on the edge of the drawing right so you can see that it's a transition it's different planes and I'm going back with my HB pencil darkening a little bit more with small strokes right Right, then it starts to have a nice shape, it starts to get out from uh, the background. Right, and it has that, that nice curvature, 
which is going like this. So I'm going back and defining that curvature so it can be visible and it go it goes inside so I need to go a little bit more inside right right and uh, let's take an F pencil and let's uh, make a transition right these kind of things are uh, learned by exercising so it's not uh, there aren't uh, some tricks there aren't some uh, uh, tips and uh, you don't uh, learn them you just have to draw and uh, there are some principles and uh, if you are uh, going to learn them and uh, you are going to observe them you will start to develop your style and to develop a nice drawing skill so after this I will uh, start to take a 2D pencil because the HB started to be uh, not enough for this part so I'm starting to darken a little bit more with the V pencil and I'm very careful with the light which I did with the eraser so I don't go over it. Right. And let's see. Well, that's, that's pretty good. Let's take the 5B pencil let's define this background here This pencil starts to be small also, so I don't have just uh, this single uh, thing, so I need to uh, use it with every pencil. They can be bought from a uh, art store, but uh, I didn't have money for that, so I use the same. Uh, this was uh, this one I have from my grandfather and I had it uh, for the last 10 years so I use it uh, with every pencil I have so I don't need to buy another one right now I I uh, have loosened that uh, contour line so it doesn't bother us anymore it's not uh, looking like uh, our object is cut out from the paper it's more natural looking right I think I will uh, put some more 
tape here so I don't mess up my drone. I should do this uh, for a long time before, but uh, here it is. I do it now once more. Right, like that. Okay, so let's see. We need to go further with this shape. So I will take my white paper and we start to go over with an F pencil. F it's like uh, almost like H pencil, so it's not too dark. Now we need to be careful with the edges. So I had an edge here with uh, the shadowing, with the cross hatching. So I need to be careful not to leave that edge there. So when I do the cross hatching, I need to be careful with that edge. Right now I will take my HB pencil back, so I will uh, mount my pencil back here. So let's see, let's go further outside. Right. And I believe, I believe it like this, it's not finished, but I need to work on the other parts of the drawing. So I will uh, leave this uh, part like this. I will come back a little bit later, right? So let's see further. <clears throat> we need to work on the bottom side. A little bit more. So I'm uh, doing some changes with uh, the 8B pencil, so it's pretty dark. And as you can see, I uh, I push pretty hard on this pencil because this time I need to have a pretty dark value. darken this part a little bit more. So I will start with the HB pencil to darken a little bit this corner. And we need to take care about the edges also. The edges of the object.
out. So let's see. Yes, it starts to get the shape. I need to work on this part also. And on the edge of the object. We need to be careful at the edge, we need uh, to have a little bit uh, lighter edge on the upper part, as you can see there, those kind of details gives uh, us a little bit more natural look. There's not much to talk about now, uh, we need to work on the shadows and uh, we need to evolve, so as you can see I work on the shapes constantly, and uh, Let's take an H pencil so, or the F pencil and let's go in with a little bit softer value here in the transition. If you are unsure on something, you can take a lighter pencil and you can uh, just go and start detailing and if it's something when it goes wrong it's just a light value and uh, light values can be erased over the time so it doesn't uh, Ruin your drawing. Also, these kind of transitions are better done with lighter shades, with lighter pencils.
we need to work a little bit on this also because uh, it's a pretty defined shape that uh, the value starts to be darker on this part Finished that part, but uh, it's a little bit better. Some parts of the drawing goes really slow, so you don't have uh, any choice, just have patience and go further. Alright, let's uh, use our eraser. Right here we don't have a line, so we need to get rid of that line. It's a light transition, light and dark transition, it's not a line. Right. And here is visible that uh, <coughs> it's better to have a bigger paper, so you, do, you can uh, make those uh, details more easily right I will come back with my eraser Thank <laughs> you. 
and I mess up. So I need to be more careful. Right, more careful. Right, so let's see what's next. Next will be our eraser, so let's make the light visible. Yes, that's the problem if you have a small paper, it's hard to erase precisely. It's hard to make the details. Uh, since I have my small camera, a small camera, I'm uh, content to make small drawings. But uh, this kind of drawings uh, would be easier to make if they were at least double of this image size. There are a lot of details here on this part of the image which needs a lot of erasing. It's not easy because uh, <coughs> I have to have the camera in front of my drawing so I can't uh, stand in front of my drawing. So I'm looking to my drawing from a different angle. And it's pretty hard to draw like that. Looking to, the, to your drawing from a different angle. Right. Let's use an edge pencil here, which is less dark than the F pencil. So I will start to dark on this part of the eyeball. We need to be careful because the most light will be here on the contour of the uh, iris so that will be the whitest part right here on this part so need to be careful 
when we are doing the shape right and we have a darker line which isn't a line it's a dark value right we need to have a little bit careful for this shape That is pretty dark, so I need to tap with my uh, razor a little bit, so it became a little bit less dark, right, like that, and we need to go over this part. Alright, let's use our eraser a little bit. Alright, so let's see how we're going. Let's work on the eyeball. So here we have a nice wrong shape. You need to be careful with the white edge on the eyeball, so near the iris. Yeah. Also, we need to be careful with the line, so we don't have a line there, so I will try to erase. Right, so it seems that now it's better. And uh, also we need to be careful near the shadow. We will have a little bit more light, which will give a little bit more natural look. Also, we need to 
draw the shape of the iris which is like this right Let's give a little bit more darker value near the iris. So we make the shape a little bit pop. Right, and a little bit more shadow on this part. And I'm working with an edge pencil because uh, I don't want to rush things. And we will need to use our eraser again. So we erase this line. Because that's, uh, there isn't a line. A transition so we will uh, work with the value and not with lines really softly Right. Starts to take shape. I need to be careful with the shape of the eye, so it goes like this. And then it goes right the shape which was uh, drawn before is to be there even if we don't have line right Let's see this shape. Right. And now we need to concentrate on this part, the upper part of the eyelid, so it will be pretty tedious and time consuming. And I start with the H pencil. I'm going to go and work on that nice cast shadow and as we know cast shadows are pretty dark. Alright, 
And we also need to work on the downside of the upper eyelid. I'm still with the edge pencil. You don't need to forget that we have a white object, so it's not uh, going to be too dark in any place because it's a white object. So we need to be careful with the that thing. details we need sharp pencil so as you hear I all the time sharpen it I don't like to use uh, mechanical pencils because they tend to have a, a boring line the line thickness is the same and uh, even if it's uh, nice and uh, sharp the line weight of the mechanical pencil is boring also it's a bit stiff so I rather uh, I like to um, sharpen my pencil from time to time on a sandpaper then uh, to use a mechanical pencil So it starts to have a nice depth. Right. It seems to me that this shape isn't right. Something wrong with it. It's a little bit out of the shape, so I will correct it. Don't forget that. Uh, if something isn't on your taste, if, if something doesn't look right and you don't like it, don't leave it like that. Even if you are uh, pretty old and maybe tired, but don't leave it like that. If you something it if you see something that it's fishy, you don't like it, just take your time and correct it. Don't leave it like that. Every time you leave something like, you don't like it, but you, you, you leave it like that because you are bored or something, it means that uh, you are, uh, you are quitting, so. Don't quit, don't quit on uh, your drawing. Uh, make it better. If you are bored today, uh, maybe you are doing it tomorrow or something. Don't lo but don't leave it like that. If you feel something's wrong with it, 
uh, trust yourself because it is something wrong with it and uh, take your time watch uh, carefully what is wrong and what do doesn't on your doesn't is uh, isn't on your taste and make a correction on it correct your own work so don't leave it like that if you see that uh, something's fishy for sure it is so reflect on it and try to correct it don't leave it like this like that